play with God. He was God's chosen man. If you want God to talk with you, you got to walk close with him. God's not going to talk to you and you standing and you walking a fur off. He can only use those who walk close to him. And so he, he called Moses, who was his leader, up on a mountain uh, called Mount Sinai and had given him the law to govern man's life. And, uh, and uh, before man got, got the law good, and while Moses was up on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights, they began to grumble and complain. They began to grumble and complain while Moses would get getting his instruction from God. It may have seemed slow to them, but Moses was getting his instruction from God. You know, you got to wait on God. That song said, he may not come when you call him, but he's always on time. They had been crying to God for over 400 years. Lord, uh, Amy wanted God to deliver them out of the land of Egypt, yeah. out from under the hand of bondage. Yeah. And now God is doing it. Yeah. God is keeping his promise. Yeah. All right. But what about Israel? While Moses up there on the mountain, I'm slow because he all is slow. Yeah. 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 While Moses was up on the mountain, Getting his orders from God. Uh, stayed there uh, too long. And, and they, they, they got upset. And, and talked to, you know, you, know, you, know, you know the devil get somebody close to you and have them waking against you. And they not know it. Come on, y'all walk with me a little bit. Here, here's Moses up on the mountain, and they talk with Moses' brother. Come on, y'all walk with me now. They talk with Moses' brother. And, and, and they said, now, we don't know what have become of this man, Moses. Wouldn't even, we wouldn't even acknowledge him as being that leader. We don't know what to become of him. Now I want you to come on and make us a God. Moses, I want you to make us a God to go, to go before us. Then he told Aaron that. Aaron, I want you to come and make us a God because we don't know what to become of Moses. And Aaron had been with Moses ever. He had been Moses' spokesman. He had been to Moses as a mouth. And Moses had been to him as a God. Aaron could not do anything unless he got his direction from Moses, as Moses got his from God. But here he is listening. Here Moses is listening to what other people are saying. Aaron, rather, listening to what other people are saying. And not waiting on Moses, his brother, to get his order from God. And, uh, and uh, Aaron said, I tell you what, y'all want a God to go before you. Bring me all your earrings, all your bracelets, and I'll make you a God. He shaped, he taken that, that jewelry and shaped it into a, and molded it into a golden calf. You know what he said to them? These be the God that brought you about age. Now, isn't that something? Now, here's something that Aaron made with his hand, and, 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 he, and they wanted him to tell them that this is the God that brought you about Egypt. I think that's what the Bible said. Isn't that what he said? Something you make with your hand, how they going to bring you anywhere? Come on, y'all, hear me. And, and, and while Moses being on the mountaintop with God, he was having a mountaintop experience with God. And here they was in the valley grumbling. <laughs> you, you know, people that's in the valley, they always complaining. They always grumbling. They can't find nothing of value. 
because they're in a valley. Their minds are in a valley. Yeah, Moses on a mountaintop <laughs> with God. Moses was having a good time with God. I dare you to go come up out of the valley of your mind. I dare you to come up on a mountaintop in your mind and have, and have a little conversation with God. Moses up there with, with God. Moses didn't know what they were doing down there. But God knew. Hello, somebody. You, if you're a child of God, you don't know what somebody, you don't have to always know what somebody is doing, trying to do to you, but God knows. Because you're working for him. And God takes care of his own. Moses, Moses up there, and God saw what they were doing. You know what God told Moses? Moses, get down from here. Go down, your people. God wasn't even on Israel as his people in Moses. He said, your people. And uh, God wasn't even claiming because they had already became disobedient to a commandment. They had not yet received them totally so. Moses had already uh, 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 verbally told them what God expected of them. But he had gone up on a mountain to get it and write it on a table of stone. Hello, somebody. And on the way down from the mountain, uh, he, heard, he, heard, he heard a lot of music playing heard, and, and dancing going on, singing going on, and and Joshua thought that 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 that, 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 that was that, that was a sound of war. And Moses said, no, it's not. It's not. And when he got there close enough, he saw them dancing and praising the golden calf. And Moses, he's in eye view, he taken a, he had the table of stone, which was the Ten Commandment in his hand. And, and when he saw that disobedient to God, he taken them and broke them. Because he said, they, if, they, if they don't keep it now, they ain't going to keep it with the, on the stone. And then when he got to Aaron, and said, what is this that people don't call you to do? And then, then Aaron said, well, now, you, you know them. You, you know how they are. You know how they are. And Moses had to plead unto God on the behalf of the people because they had become so stiff-necked. If, if you read, I think, in, in this 33rd chapter, you'll find why God called them stiff-necked people. And, 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 and Moses asked God, if I found favor in your sight, Lord, I want you to do something for me. I know that, that we, we're here we are in, in the wilderness, but if I found favor in your sight. And if that's what we find, and the Lord said unto Moses, I will do all this thing also that thou hast spoken of, for thou hast found grace in my sight. And, and I know thee by name. God said, I know you, Moses. I know you by name. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. Moses said, Lord, I ask you, just show me your glory. And he said, I will make my goodness to pass before thee. How many of y'all like to see God's goodness? Amen. But if you want to see God's goodness, you're going to have to ask God, Lord, show me your goodness. You, 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 you got to yearn for his goodness. Jesus said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. You got to act like you want it. More than not only act like he want it, but he, he asked God for it. Uh, uh, to show him his goodness. And the Lord, he said, I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee, and I will be gracious to whom that God said, I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious.